Hello, this week's lab, of course, is on stacks. Now, a lot of the things that stacks are best at is sort of like parsing and reading in data and matching it and evaluating it kind of tasks. And so what you're going to do for this lab is read in a string of parentheses and brackets and make sure that it is well formed. Now we'll talk about what well formed means, but it should be hopefully a kind of intuitive concept. A well formed set of parentheses and brackets has every opening parenthesis closed by a closing parenthesis. And you don't have opening parentheses or brackets that are never closed, and you also don't have brackets closing parentheses or parentheses closing brackets. Hopefully it should make sense, but we will go over it. And so your program is going to use a stack to read in a string of the parentheses and brackets and make sure that it is well formed. And if it is, you're going to say so, and if not, you're going to say so too. So let's take a look at that. All right, so like we said, this lab is going to be using stacks to determine whether a string of parentheses and brackets is well formed or not. So here we have three examples of well-formed strings of parentheses and brackets. Every opening parenthesis is closed by a closing parenthesis, and every opening bracket is closed by an opening bracket. So these three are all good strings. And then we have some bad strings. So here we have a closing parenthesis before we ever even had an opening parenthesis, so that's a problem. Here we have an opening parenthesis being closed by a bracket, and that's a problem. Here we have an opening bracket and then a closing bracket, which is so far good, but then this closing bracket closes nothing. Here we have an opening bracket that is never closed. And this one, honestly, I'm not sure just eyeballing at what the problem is, but there's some problem in there. And so the best way to solve this problem is using a stack. So the basic idea is this. You're going to scan through the string, and every time you see an opening character, you're going to push it on the stack. So here you'll push an opening parenthesis, and then here you'll push an opening bracket, and then here you'll push an opening parenthesis. Then when you see a closing symbol, what you do is you pop something off the stack and check if it matches or not. And by matches, I mean check that it's the same sort of thing, either a parenthesis or a bracket. And so here, when you're on this symbol that I've highlighted, you're going to pop off the opening parenthesis and it does match, so that's good. They're both parentheses. Then you'll go onto this symbol and pop off the bracket, and that'll be good because they both match. And then you'll go here and pop off this original parenthesis that you put in on the first place, and they'll match, so that's good. So again, when you see an opening symbol, you push it on the stack. When you see a closing symbol, you pop it off the stack. If they're either both parentheses or both brackets, you carry on through the algorithm. If they don't match, so if one's a parenthesis and one's a bracket, then you are going to report that this string is not well formed and you're going to quit the program. So when you test your program, you'll put in these three to make sure it says well formed and these five to make sure it says not well formed. One other thing you have to do though is to make sure that the stack is empty when you finish because for this particular test case right here, what you'll find is you push the opening bracket, that's good. You push the opening bracket again, that's good. And then here, when you get to this third symbol, you pop off the opening bracket and you'll see these are both brackets, so that's good. And then you run out of symbols. But the reason that this is not correct is because this opening bracket was never closed. And so after you're done looping through the string, if there's still opening things on the stack that you never popped off, then it's a problem as well. So when the loop is done, you basically have to check that your stack is empty. It should be for it to be well formed. All right, so you can use the Java stack class for this lab. You don't need to use the one that we created ourselves or anything. The Java stack class, by the way, is an array based thing. Then you should read in one string from the user. You don't need to read in multiple, just one is good. Go through all the characters and follow the algorithm I outlined. So if it's an opening thing, you push it. And if it's a closing thing, you do the pop and check kind of thing. And at the end, print whether the string is well formed or not. So like usual with this lab, if you're stuck on anything or have questions, let me know. Otherwise, you can submit this on Canvas. Thanks.